Let's go. Go on. It's down. But if you're not just right there, it's not there. Why is Rosa so much stronger Look. than me? Same Rosa, you will you stop kicking your brother's butt, please? <laughs> <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> she's not even trying. That's even worse if she's not even trying. <laughs> Looks like you're trying real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. That is some bright sun. This was a Christmas gift to me from that. Very excited about it and we're gonna put it together. How complicated does it look? Two people, 120 minutes. Dang, that's a lot longer than that. Yeah, I was and then here, it's gonna take like 30 or 40. It's three people. Oh, well, good thing we got two little munchkins back there. Well, they equal one, so either way we'll be good. So we're good. Why are you so close? Why are you so close, bro? Shot, bro? No, bro. Well, so far, we are off to a Productive, dare I say, fabulous start. Check that out. I mean, that's pretty decent size already. Why so close? Too close. Because it's fun. It's not fun. It's just fun. It looks fun. Pinky. Pinky's out, bro. Pinky's out. Tits out. You know what happens when you play with fire? You get burned. <laughs> Stop following me. Oh, shoot. Are you done filming? Oh, thanks. Effortless shot by the daddy. One lazy cat. Who thinks he's a mutt? Not a dog. That's not a dog, Sue. He's so mad at me, he got brushed today. He's pretending like he doesn't know who I am now because he doesn't like to be brushed, do you, Sue? Do, 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 start that. Every time you pet his belly, he tries to bite you. Bite. Bite. And then you got this mutt. You're such a good dog, Arliss. Now we've had lots of rain the last few days. Lots of rain. In fact, our patio is still puddles. It's really mud puddles because it's washed so much mud into the patio that he hasn't really even gotten to go outside all that much. Luckily for him, our friends over at Nom Nom sent us a special delivery and we partnered up with them for this video. Arliss absolutely loves it. Nom Nom is fresh dog food, fully cooked, it is not raw. And it's made by people who are really enthusiastic about creating dog food that allows your pets to be the happiest and healthiest version of themselves as possible. You go onto their website, you create a profile for your dog, your pet's age, the breed, the weight, they have beef, turkey, chicken, pork. They tailor a specific amount of individually packaged Nom Nom meals. They send them directly to you. Arliss loves it so far. We have taken the approach of just adding it to his already existing diet. I'm looking to incorporate extra nutrition into his diet to just kind of keep him balanced out because our pets can't tell us how they're feeling. A better diet means softer coats, more energy, better breath. Arliss's food recommendation after filling out his profile was pork potluck. Pork, potatoes, green beans, yellow squash, kale, and mushrooms, and, and, as well as, those are ingredients. We have an ingredient list here too, actually. Vitamins and all kinds of proteins and fats, all the necessary nutrition for our pets. What'd you hear, Arliss? What did you hear? Somebody knows what's going on. 
check that out pork green beans you see all the vegetables in there and i just kind of just like that because he's such a good dog i'm gonna give him all that stuff on top so he gets the good stuff first. And one more thing about Nom Nom that I really, I like and I appreciate when companies do this, all their packaging is completely recyclable. So that always feels good knowing that we're using a, a service that is mindful of our environment. And Nom Nom has a special offer for our viewers. You treat your dog to food that's good for them and good for their health. You get 50% off your first order of Nom Nom. Click the link down in our description or go to trynom.com slash Matt and Blue. It's a good stuff, boy. Is that a good dog? Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, that's a Nom Nom. Who's got a funny joke for me? Why didn't the skeleton go to the ball? Why? Because he had no body, no body to dance with. I have one. <laughs> I have one. Why did the skeleton go to the roast? Why? To get another rib. <laughs> Okie dokie. What you think, Daddy? Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty fun. What do you think? It's your greenhouse. Love it. I'll be out here all the time now. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but the size of it is makes me feel a lot better. I was a little worried about it being too big and then having so much stuff and it becoming a little out of control, but I don't think that's gonna happen now. I think that it's a perfect amount of space. Maybe a raised bed over here if you want one indoors, and then fun growth is stuff right here, like on tables right. and stuff. Well, I guess now we get to play and set things up. Well, what about our raised garden beds? I feel <laughs> like that might be this entire space. I guess on one side? It's kind of a one side, no? Yeah, I'll just be one side. So in addition to getting a greenhouse, that blue got for Christmas. My aunt and uncle, we got some raised garden beds. Ta da! Galvanized. But look what I just realized. We have two options we can make a square or an oval. There was one that you can make a heart. That's adorable. That's why I didn't tell you about it. Oh, I would have wanted that. I can't believe I'm sharing some of my greenhouse space with a raised bed garden how did that happen you're gonna be super happy when you're eating tomatoes all year long though look how cute he is Stop. you found that while you were digging yeah how many of you did you in that soil that we just dug up they're in the beds that we just put in you bet told you we should get some chickens we had scorpions at our last house but not no, the to the extent that. I think I'm getting a chicken. I'm just gonna oh get a chicken. Oh my gosh. The coyotes are gonna eat them so fast. Well, you, you have leave to leave it out at night, yeah. You have to build a whole. Nah, I can stay in there. One and... chicken. You can come in at night. You can't just have one chicken. Listen, with the cost of eggs right now, I feel like it definitely makes sense to have a chicken. Um, So we got an early girl here. Which is an indeterminate hybrid tomato. We've had these ones before. They actually were really nice. Uh, we really enjoyed these ones. So I feel like this is gonna be a good variety. And they fruit early, no? Yeah, I guess, yes. Sorry, I left that out. That is why they're called the early girls, because they're supposed to fruit uh, and ripen sooner. So hopefully we'll get something from her soon. And we got a better boy. I think these were your favorite, also an indeterminate hybrid tomato. Uh, these were your favorite in the past that we've done. I think these are the ones that we ended up just freezing and making a little sauce out of a lot. Oh yeah. Um, you really yeah. loved these. What does indeterminate mean? Uh, well, there's determinate and indeterminate. Uh, these are all indeterminate, which means that they keep growing. Like they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Right. A determinate means that they'll like, they'll reach their maximum height. The Cherokee purple which I love. These ones are an heirloom tomato. They're the ones that get really big and 
pretty. I mean, juicy. See, right? people were really good. Yeah, very juicy. I mean, I think pretty because they look like fairy tale y, but some people say they're like ugly because they get really quirky and whatever. But I love these purple Cherokees. So that's the four or three varieties we have, four plants. And, uh, see, yeah, we'll keep them in here for a little while. And when it gets a little warmer, then we'll transplant them outside. All right, on to our leafy greens. I feel good. Like, this is a good start to our situation. We got a greenhouse, we got two beds. We got some greens, some leafy greens in here. And I these thought are maybe you would clean those up a little bit. Yeah, but... they need to be cleaned up a little bit. My hands are super dirty though. Mm, that's fine. I want to get in with cleaner hands. Um, but look at this is all nutrition here that we just started. What a great way to start the new year. I mean, we're already a month into it, but this is like a great January project. Feeding our bodies, feeding the earth, and um, feel good about it. We got some tomatoes started, my favorite thing to grow. So, uh, things are looking up for 2023.